Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to MPG. And today I'm gonna to be showing you a new watering toy that I got. It's an awesome watering wand by Dram. I just wanna give a quick shout out to Jessica. Thank you so much for sending me this awesome tool. <laughs> it definitely helped me out in the garden. I love what I'm seeing. I love the results that I'm getting from that Dram 30 inch watering wand. And um, I want you all to see this awesome watering wand. If you guys are hand watering or using a watering can, this might be something you guys wanna be looking into. So uh, let's take a look at what's uh, going on back there in my garden. <laughs> all right, everybody, as you can see, it's a beautiful day in LA today. And uh, today we're just gonna be uh, taking a look at my girls over here. As you can see, things are really flowering. Things are really kicking into overdrive. We already got some pots setting in over here. And uh, I only fed, I top dressed with only the fish bone meal on all these uh, bushier plants. I'm doing this video this early because uh, it's gonna get hot later. <laughs> and as you can see, I mean, we got tails everywhere. We got ladybugs flying into the camera. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as you can see things are really progressing things are really looking great we got tons of flower buds everywhere everywhere i'm not lying everybody but this is awesome this foch this foch <laughs> sorry everybody <laughs> this fish bone meal really works wonders everybody that phosphorus really helps aid the root system and you know by doing so it's helping out and aiding in flower production and that's what that you know that's what i'm aiming for and that's what's key so when you guys are in flower production don't forget to hit them with some fish for fish bone meal from down to earth you guys will not be disappointed look at that everybody things are looking really great look at this seven pot uh seven pot bubblegum large yellow these pods look awesome look at these flower buds you know things are really progressing if you, if you guys can see, remember I had uh, told you guys that I was splitting these little Y's on top. Now you can see all that new growth going on over here, you know. And um, and as far as what am I using to to um, watering, you know, like I said, right now there's things going on where I cannot set up a drip irrigation just yet. But, you know, hopefully in the near future I will. So for now, like I said, we're just gonna be hand watering. And again, everybody, look at all the new branch sites that are going on over here. And uh, yeah, things are looking really great. Really, really great. Now, as you guys can see, this seven pot bubblegum cross of mine, she's loading up with pods everywhere. And uh, I'll be harvesting real soon because we're starting to see some pods ripen. And uh, and I definitely gotta get a shade or some sort of canopy over this. Um, reason being is that a lot of these pepper, well, I only see one pepper that got sun scald, meaning it got sunburn. And that is not pleasing when you guys wanna eat. Oh, look at this wicked pod. <laughs> with, the, with the nice little wicked tail. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> now as you can see over here that is a really nice funeral right there so i'll be saving seeds from that one and uh yeah things are looking great as you can see my tomatoes are kicking in jalapenos i harvested already some of them this tomato plant obviously definitely took root look how big and bushy that got this plant looks like it's coming back we're getting green we're getting flowers I'm reviving it from hydro and all I did was just top dress it with some fox farm threw a little bit of cover crop and threw in some European night crawler and red regular composting worms in there and uh, let's see what happens more likely it will kick in it will survive I mean just look at how thick these branches are that's ridiculous almost the size of my thumb <laughs> so um, let's get watering and let me show you the new toy that I got <laughs> to help me out and aid in watering. <laughs> Alright everybody, as you can see, this what I'm holding in my hand <laughs> is a 30 inch dram rain wand, watering wand everybody. Now where they say rain is because what it does is that instead of letting all that pressure out, it breaks it. 
it breaks the water so it doesn't fall so so it doesn't come out so strong and start disturbing your soil what i like about this is that since it breaks the water it does not disturb the water the soil so as you guys can see it's awesome first of all the nozzle let's get a good look at that i don't know if you guys can see that and um and what i like is that it has this thumb you know on and off switch and um well let me just show you how it how it is i mean and it drops a lot of water everybody so you really don't have to keep going i mean it's it's really a nice check that out i don't have to bend over anymore i don't have to fill in free uh watering cans or anything like that anymore all i gotta do is just water my plants standing up <laughs> so i can move along really really fast <laughs> so um definitely this is awesome and i just want to give a quick shout out to jessica over at dram thank you so much jessica for allowing all my viewers to see this awesome product so if you guys are just like me and you guys are hand watering right now all right everybody now here's an update on my uh on my crosses this is my seven pot bubblegum cross cross with the btr check it out everybody that is one gnarly pod honestly that is a nasty looking pod and what i like is that it did take traits of the btr and as you can see it looks nice <laughs> and i'm pretty sure it's evil and we got another one over here you know sorry if you guys can't see it you know i'm, I'm wearing the gopro head strap so i can't really concentrate on you know so i can just move closer to the pod and that's that <laughs> but things are looking awesome everybody as you can see they're flourishing obviously this is my these two are my seven pot bubblegum cross cross out the carolina reaper and we are seeing some awesome you know phenols over here but my preferred one let me see where is it uh where did it go oh there it is it's hiding i really like how that pod looks over here let me see if you guys can see that but um but like i said i mean it's just throwing out a lot of different types of uh of peppers right now so I mean, as you can see, things are just looking great. Look at that. Nice, thick. Top of the leaves are purple tint. The branches are purple tint, along with this BTR cross of mine. And then this seven pot bubblegum cross, Carolina Reaper is a green pheno. It did not pick up on any of the uh, purple uh, traits on them. But as you can see, what I like is that it's one nice, even canopy and it's flowering already it is flowering so i'm really excited to see what kind of uh phenols comes out of this one and it's uh just give them a watering a quick one. Oh wait i almost got caught so if you guys are looking in the market for a uh another watering uh gun or something like that um i would really look into a dram water wand it really makes life a lot easier and then you know in my books it is a npg certified <laughs> i know everybody <laughs> haven't had my coffee so uh so bear with me on these uh corny jokes <laughs> but as you can see it the more i back away i mean it literally looks like rain <laughs> <laughs> that's why they call it rain one <laughs> but it's it's awesome because it doesn't disturb the soil it just falls right on top of it and yes it does feed fast because look we're already getting runoff already just want you all to see that it's awesome you know things that have been really hot over here so i do got to come out here twice a day to water but i love it because you know what if I set up a drip irrigation system right now, I wouldn't really be paying attention to what's really going on in my garden. When you set up a drip irrigation, you just set it and you, and, and you go, you know? But when you're actually concentrating and hand watering them, you know, you realize that you pay more attention to what's going on as in pests, what kind of pests are around your garden or if there's any deficiencies going on because you can go without a week without even checking up on your plants with the drip irrigation. But with this, you get to enjoy and you get to have your own zen time 
<laughs> your relaxation time <laughs> all right everybody so uh, that's an update on my plants i mean they, they're looking awesome things are really progressing and uh you know just you know it's, it's an honor for me to keep you guys updated on all of this stuff and remember you guys uh, don't forget to follow me on my uh facebook fan page you guys can search it at um nunez peppers or you guys just put Nunez Peppers Garden or whatever, you know, my, my page will fall. It will come up and uh, just please like and follow it for uh, daily life feeds and updates and, um, you know, previews of what's to come for my YouTube videos. And, um, you know, right there, I could actually be more, ac more interactive with each and one of you. All right, everybody. So let's head back to the tent. <laughs> All right, everybody. As you guys can see, that Dram 30 inch watering wand has worked wonders in my garden definitely i'm loving how it breaks the water into rain you know i mean it falls lightly onto the soil yet it pours in so it's not you're not reducing water it's just breaking it as it's coming out so you're not pushing soil around to one side or whatever the case may be it's just nice and and, and light for your soil and for your plants and the plants really react you know great to when it's you know when it's rain you know because plants love rain <laughs> let's face it i love rain <laughs> but yeah everybody i mean that dram watering one is awesome and as you can see all my plants are doing great we got ladybugs all over that garden i'm really happy so i really don't have to be using my pesticide right now for any aphids or any spider mats that might be occurring as you can see these plants are praising the sky the leaves are all nice and healthy stalks are getting thicker the ones that we top they're definitely branching out on the lower side of the plant and um, and as you can see things are looking great now we're starting to really produce heavy flowers so if you guys are in flower production and tomatoes or in your peppers hit them with some fish bone meal from down to earth that phosphorus will aid the roots and it will help aid with flower production and fruit production okay everybody so that's key flower production equals pepper production or tomato fruit production <laughs> so um so yeah everybody things are looking great with my cross i couldn't be any happier with that seven pop bubblegum cross with the btr that one looks freaking awesome i'm really excited and stoked to see that and um so yeah everybody things are looking great and again i've been getting a couple of inquiries on my gorilla grow tent and my kind led in that setup if you guys are looking into setting up something like this in the near future or you guys are interested let me know if not you guys can check the description you guys can reach out to uh paul over at smooth home growing you know they can hook you guys up he'll they'll get you all set and settled with your with with, with your tent and your lights or whatever your case may be if you guys want to set up a grow room or whatever the case is they will hook you up and they will help you just let them know that npg sent you and best believe you guys will get a great deal <laughs> all right everybody so uh, i hope you all have a great weekend i hope you guys all enjoyed this uh video and um if you guys did please like the video please comment on my video if not please share this video with your friends and family and remember you guys don't forget to follow me on my facebook fan page at uh nunez peppers or Nunez Peppers Garden, and um, you guys will be seeing, uh, you guys will be getting live feeds from me and uh, and daily updates from me, and uh, so we guys, so we can be more interactive with one another. And definitely the Dram Watering one, I will be linking it up into my description. And um, if you guys are interested, you guys could check it out there along with my other fertilizers. And again, I hope you all have a great weekend. And you guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. All right, everybody. All right, you guys take care.